So, hi. Um, I, my name is Aditi Bahadur and I want to share my inputs and experience on using Piranha for non-men. And this is not a tutorial, but more of a review. And um, so I'll get started. So first of all, I would like to say that uh, all of these models have already been made. They were part of a project I was uh, doing um, to make a PKPD model for, uh, for an oral drug for, uh, for malaria. Uh, so I'm not going to be making models at this moment because I've already done that. And um, of course, ma making models is a little, I mean, requires a more thought, uh, more uh, than, yes. But um, I'm going to be showing you different experiences with Piranha and uh, why I like Piranha. And let me get started with what Piranha is. So Piranha is a software which is owned by Citera and uh, the purpose of using Piranha is to organize, uh, make and model various pharmacometric models. So here you can, as you can see, uh, you can use, um, say, I mean, I can show you some uh, like tools uh, that you can make, different kind of models that you can make. So here, as you can see, you can see, you can make models on non-mem, and you can make models with R script. And uh, yeah, so this is the version I have. Now, uh, let me get started with the, to show you a few things. And like I said, it's not a tutorial, but a review. But I can show you some basic things. So this is my folder and here is where I have, you know, I had my CSV file and now of course I've already made the model. So they also run directories and various other things. And um, so, yeah, that's the case. Now, uh, so like just uh, here is my C CSV file that I have used. Uh, so this basically has uh, has the PK data, which is drug concentration. And it also has the PD data, which is the drug effect. So here I'm going to start with a few things. So here, if I have uh, this TSP file, I can, if I want to do the initial data inspection, I can open data inspector. And yeah, of course, right now I want to view time versus DV. DV, for those who don't know, is dependent variable for all IDs. Then I can do that. Here, this is the R code. And uh, so if you want to make this on R, you can do that with this code. So it's a automatically generated code. You don't have to, you know, make, uh, you don't, you just have to run this in R. Now this is time versus DV. Uh, you can do say, there is, uh, if I want to see time versus weight, then I can see the weight distribution around here. If I want to see time versus study arm, I can do that. And but I mean, for me, what more useful is time versus DV because I want to see what kind of a drug it is. And here, as you can see, my drug is oral. Now I can also choose based on IDs, you know, the distribution. So that is something that was a feature I found very useful. Um, I mean, the fact that I can view different uh, things by just importing a CSV, I can do it on log access if I want. Uh, I can do it on, of course, the normal uh, access. And I always, I get the R code, which makes it much easier. So for if, if you were doing this in R, and of course R is, of course, a brilliant statistical software. One, 
miss one inconvenience might be that you know you of course you have to generate this code yourself which can be time consuming yeah so that's one of the features i really liked uh, so I, this is this is it um i mean i just the other feature i liked quite a bit was that i could um import a csv directly uh, which oftentimes you have to use other file formats like dat so that was not i didn't have to basically convert a csv to uh, run a model that was one other thing i liked now um, i'm just going to show you uh, how one can run models without actually running it because I have already made models as I said. Uh, so now if supposing I want to run a model, then I will choose tools. I think this is a very good feature of non -mem, uh, sorry, of Piranha because here I can choose PK model and uh, which is which I want to choose in non mem and uh, I can choose, I mean, I can make name it anything. I can name it run one. It'll be, a, it'll be a mod file. I can add the description here, which supposing I want to add, you know, one compartment with additive error. I can do that. I can add a add the same thing in the norm, norm in the model label. Then next. Now, of course, here you have to if you want the optimal uh, model, you have to have some level of knowledge in non mem. So, of course, here knowledge in non mem is essential. That's but uh, here it is a much convenient way to really uh make a model in non -mem. so here you can see all the routines used i mean from you have from iv to oral to you know you can even have general linear models as usual and they go up to advanced 13 now i'm just going to say so for example i want to choose a general linear model which is of course at this moment i'm going to start small so i'm going to start at advanced six the error model i want is maybe combined error because that's usually how you start. Then you go next model. So here you have you can choose model implementation, which I would usually go with FOCE. I've already chosen the data, which is run, which is of course like the input data file, uh, which is a CSV file, which is uh, sorry that. Yeah, so here I get the data file, then I have to finish. And of course, it already exists. So, um, I mean, I, I it, it's gonna give me the option of overwriting. So maybe I could actually show you if I didn't say overwrite, say run 51, but I doesn't exist. Next, next, next and finish. So here, of course, I get the model code. I get, the, you have to put a lot of initial estimates yourself, you know, because of course here you have to put the theta one and all this is the Ka, this is the, uh, this is just the code, but I mean, the very big advantage is you get an automatic non-mem code without actually having to generate it. And here, of course, you can you make changes here. Uh, you have to make changes here. Uh, otherwise, it, it might cause problems in the model building and also, um, you know, like other issues as well. And you, you change here accordingly. You change what variables you want to ignore. You change everything. You change, you know, which according to your knowledge, which is, as I said, you need knowledge in non mem to make this and you need yeah so here one thing if i say want to execute this uh, i would click on this and of course it's going to execute and then you just run it 
and uh, of course right now it's, I've, since i haven't add any added any initial estimates it won't be running and i won't be you doing that right now because i've already made several models uh, but of course uh, but as you adjust your initial estimates which consists of your thetas omegas and what kind of errors you want and other things you see fit uh, you will it will run and uh, now i would also go into the other features of non mem which is is included in here like for example this is a model that i've already made now if i want to what the if i want to say uh, i don't need to execute it because i've already executed it now here i have various other things i can do like you know i can make notes i can add notes i can open this model in data in, in data inspector i can translate this model now if i want to compute the eic bic which i, I mean which i have already computed so it i can do that i just have to click at click on this it's a drop of a hat and uh, if i want to duplicate the model i can do that if i want the reports i can download them on several other uh, several other if i want to run expose i can run expose from here if i want to translate uh, this model to non mem or matlab berkeley madonna which we often need to do if you want to uh, understand more about of a model then you click here for instance uh, here you just have to say click i want the subject variability uh, i want this whatever i want so then it will translate to uh, berkeley madonna here i get the code for berkeley madonna so here i just have to take the code from berkeley madonna and post it and paste it there and so that's a feature i really liked now um, so of course these are the different kind of uh, options of course uh, which you can do so i do not want to hide the model so i won't be doing that and i think the interface is really good uh here you can generate reports which is good and here if you want to refresh model do that immediately because you will forget now uh supposing if i want so i've shown you how to translate execute models now um yeah so this is the, the you can export the model you can delete the model you can uh, duplicate the model from here you can rename the model and um, yeah and you can even add notes about the model which you can do here directly so you know that makes your other uh, parts of like um, you know if if that makes like you know your gen you don't have to basically with this you don't have to like generate a run record template with this i mean because it would automatically generate the entire run record template for you so for instance you would already if your model successfully executes you would get your ofv here you would get your dofv you can com compute aic bsc and you can of course you can add notes like uh, yeah uh, so you can and then here you can change data set you can uh, yeah i think i've shown most of the things that you can do which is really nice and and really convenient when you know you have maybe you would make several models and not remember what you've done so here you can add a lot of notes here and uh, here you have to if you want to supposing add notes which i already have you have to click on notes and info and you can write it so here this is a covariate weight on clearance and volume i have already added that this here you can have the reference models which would be automatically generated i want to add my name but uh, here i would add my initials you can do that if you want you will get i mean that would be saved to the info and yeah so i mean i think that's a pretty big advantage that you 
do not want to have to keep updating say an excel sheet or something you know if 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 you have the software so i think that is really convenient and uh it makes you much it makes it much easier to remember here i can see the estimates so here i can see the different estimates that are there uh it's so you don't have to i mean you can see all the estimates uh, on everything so you can see your results you can see here you can generate the report now if i want to see the basic you know like goodness of fit and uh, here here are all the shortcuts for the various things you can do uh, i mean which if you want to open data inspector for the model you can see the shortcut if you want to run it on non mem again you can do that you can run it on psn here now if I, for this particular model if say i want to see all the reports i have already selected it then i click on this it will run the diagnostics and uh, of course it might pop up in another for me it pops up in opera mini so here you can see like uh, various ba basic goodness of fit so here you can see your goodness of fit you can generate a report for that you can download the report which is really good here you can tag the report here you can you know write make a report title so you can conveniently generate a report from that uh, out of which uh yeah so this is basically the things i found pretty convenient um i mean there are a lot of things that are convenient and not time consuming so i, I overall i would say my experience with pirana was really good and i enjoyed working with pirana and i still have a lot to learn and i still want to explore pirana i will keep making videos uh when i learn more as i learn more and another thing with pirana is that they will give you a lot of information they will support you if you have doubts if you do not i mean they will it is that is really helpful because if you may have some difficulties related to uh, using pirana using the software you know though it's very user friendly but you might have difficulties but if you reach out to this technical support and this is the experience i had they will really help you and that that's often times really helpful when you are you know uh, learning software learning a new software so yeah so to summarize i enjoyed the user i mean i enjoyed the interface it's very friendly i enjoyed these features that i can you know compute the aic bic at a, at just one click i really liked of i really like the fact that you could get the ofvs and of course the delta ofvs and then you just had to refresh and of course then you know the other features like the like the wizard and data inspector were really nice so that was my review on pirana overall good and uh, yeah so thank you for listening and i hope it helps somebody yeah so thank you